Hey, 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 everyone. I'm Dead Hand. We're playing Pixel Junk Monsters Ultimate. Going back into regular. Uh, we're going to be in Tiki Island this time, but I just want to show off Gotti Gotti Island. We finally have five rainbows, and we will be playing uh, Easy One on that next episode. But we finally unlocked. <laughs> I tried medium a few times. That did not work out. So we finally unlocked this last stage over here on the left. Special one from all sides. They're all the same. The stage is filled with all the same type of monster. So let's begin that. So this one actually worked out on my first try. I had no clue what I was getting myself into being the first special board. Um, and then as soon as I popped down, I saw uh, my hub uh, world. I, I don't know. My home, <laughs> my home place stuck in the middle. And I thought immediately, uh, oh crap. We gotta, we gotta build some stuff right quick like. Luckily, uh, what the little flash screen popped up was uh, all enemies are the same, and that's true. These little spider guys are all we are going to see uh, for every wave. So, knowing that, and knowing how uh, crappy my cannonballs work against spider guys, uh, because they're just too fast, if they bunched up like the Goombas, which is what I'm going to keep calling them until I figure out their real name, uh, just like there's a dinosaur egg at the bottom of the screen I'm about to pick up. <laughs> Even though I think those are called gems, I'm not sure. Uh, these spider guys are just way too quick for uh, my cannonballs. But arrow traps work very, very well. So I figure, let's go ahead and make a perimeter around my base, right? And then the guys should pass by at least two, maybe three times. Uh, before they get to my home world, my little base there. And that tends to work out pretty well. Also, I found out uh, nowadays that there are five levels of upgrade, or I guess stages of a tower. Uh, we have green, which is one, yellow, two, uh, red is three, and usually once you hit the red, they're pretty self-sufficient. They're, you know, they kick a little bit of ass. They're pretty good. <coughs> Uh, purple is level 4. Purple means uh, they are doing awesome. And then level 5 is black. Uh, which means they do not get any more experience. You can't upgrade them anymore by dancing under them. Uh, your TK man will not dance. Uh, and also they gain no experience from killing enemies. Uh, but they have... Like you'll notice the range on all of my towers gets slightly larger each upgrade. By the time they're Black Tower, uh, they cover a good, good portion of the map. Uh, you know, relative to where they are. <laughs> of course, none of my towers, even at level Black, are you know going to hit the start positions. But, you get my gist. So we start off with our 20 guys. My uh, Tiki, Tiki Babies, or whatever they're called. Uh, and we have to keep every single one of them to get a rainbow. And a rainbow is how we progress in this game. Which means you have to be effing perfect to see everything. Which makes it difficult. Uh, I think I talked about this in the last episode, how I, I kind of feel like that's a design flaw. Uh, and I'm playing all these on normal, which I figure normal will be, you know, pretty normal difficulty. Uh, probably lose a couple times, win a couple times, you know. A little bit of a learning curve, but eventually get down to it. Uh, that is not the case. If you want a rainbow on normal difficulty, hold on. <sighs> if you want <laughs> a rainbow on normal difficulty, uh, you're gonna have to plug away several attempts. That medium map that I that I went to, uh, medium one on Tiki Island, I have probably tried that one ten to twenty times at this point. And just and and lose a single guy every single time, uh, and it pisses me off. But what are you gonna do? So now that I've gone to post production, it's much easier. I don't. I'm not gonna have. <laughs> I'm still not sure how many levels are in this game, but I'm assuming they're probably gonna be you know 20, 30, uh, you know top end 40, but probably more like 30. Um, but if I showed all my failures. This would easily be a 100 episode uh, Let's Play, and we don't want that. Well, my original uh, defense grid number one, 
Let's Play, I did go back and uh, do what I like to call revenge on three different maps that I just completely failed. Just tried over and over and over and could not figure out how to beat it. So I just showed any old failure trying to get through it. Um, and then I went back for my revenge campaign the last three episodes. Uh, I think uh, 40, 41, and 42 or something like that of defense grade 1. Um, you'll see my s s well, you'll see my victory attempt at those episodes or missions. And also I did that for defense grade 2. Uh, playing the campaign for the first time on normal, I only failed one mission. I believe it was number 5? Either 5 or 7. It's one of those odd numbers right, right in the beginning. Um, I failed that one pretty bad. But I did come back and revenge that also in episode 21. So... I'm hoping to not have to revenge any of these. Uh, maybe much later in the, like, hard one, two, three, four, or whatever. <laughs> Actually, what I have shown you guys is pretty much all I know about this game. Uh, I saw very limited, like, Let's Play stuff on the YouTubes. Uh, and I was like, oh, okay, that seems like a fun little tower defense game. I watched, like, I think, Tiki Island Easy 1 on two or three different, uh, Let's Plays. I thought, oh, yeah, let's let's do that. Let's show off a little bit of this game. It's popular. It's on every effing system ever made. Uh, why not give it a go? Uh, and that's all I know about this game. Uh, I did try to look on the Pixel Junk Monsters Ultimate like wiki page, <laughs> and uh, I couldn't find much of anything. I spent like 20 minutes on there, and it was like looking for Bigfoot trying to find information about this game on, on its own wiki page, you know? I guess that's not the official home page. So I understand. There might not be official news on there, but I was thinking the Wikipedia page would, would have the, you know, biggest source of, of information. I was wrong. So as you can see, I'm starting to get my towers up to level red here, or level three red, uh, which means they're starting to be pretty powerful. And I don't know if these bad guys are, uh, like, upgrading at all. Oh, also, I'll, I'll tell you about what I'm doing real quick here in a second. Um, I thought this was a 10-wave map. I was wrong. As you can see, we're on wave 10, and there's another wave coming up. Uh, this is actually a 20-wave map, and the first one I do have done on this Let's Play. <laughs> the first one I have do... Um, so, upgrading from green to yellow to red, uh, sometimes to purple, isn't that bad. Well, at least to red isn't that bad at all. You can get there pretty much just by sheer experience, and then a little dance here, a little dance there. <clears throat> um, to get to purple, it's a little bit tougher, so I'll usually use my two dinosaur eggs to pump it up. Um, and then to get to black, I pretty much have to use my dinosaur eggs three of them, or else my character is going to sit in one spot for several minutes, because that's that's the last, uh, you know, stage, last level, or whatever. So at this point, I've got plenty of coin. Uh, we have lots of trees on the map, so it's time to throw out some, some extra towers. You never know when you're going to need, you know, five, six, seven extra towers to do a little bit of offense here. And as you can see, I killed those spiders way quicker than what I should have. Uh, so I've got plenty of time in between waves. Now sometimes they will send another party like halfway through the wave. Uh, I don't know if that's only if you're doing good or if that's always planned. And it just so happens it's always the wave that I do good at, but... It happens. See, there we go. So we're halfway through wa uh, wave 11. And now we're getting more bad guys, so... I don't know how that works out exactly, but it's doing. And the spiders are... Uh, now... Oh, what I was saying before. I don't know if they, like, upgrade themselves or something. Because I figure once I get to, you know, purple and black towers... Uh, 
pretty much I should be like one shot or two shot in pretty much every spider that comes through. Uh, but that's not the case. And then eventually they get a blue health bar, which means they have to go through the blue and the green instead of just the green. Uh, in my head, it's like defense grid. That's like their shield. I don't know. Oh, actually, I guess they don't go through green also. It's just through the blue. Well, I'm stupid. Uh, so yeah, they just have more health, I guess, or maybe more armor. Like I said, it's hard to find information on this game, like the actual meta game. It's hard to find out how this game works from the inside out. Some other games I play, like the roguelikes, like uh, Isaac Rebirth and Risk of Rain, uh, that kind of stuff. You can go online and find a lot of information, like this character has 0.1, I'm sorry, this character has 1.0 of this, uh, this other character has 1.2 of this. Um, when you get this upgrade, it's it you know does a multiple of eight for your damage or this or that. This game, I can't find jack on how strong any of these towers are. Excuse me, I can't find jack on how strong any of the enemies are. I don't even know the names of the enemies. I gotta say, I'm pretty much flying blind while I play this game. So yeah, if you guys have any insight, if you want to offer me any kind of insight into this. Uh, I'd totally be okay for that because I'm trying to use the YouTube subscribers um, as a as a good source of information uh, now sometimes I like this is a blind run like I said sometimes I play games that I already have <laughs> let's say mastered or at the very least have played you know I know the ins and outs I know what the upgrades do you know I know what I'm looking for for a game that I run through blind I don't have a flippin' clue what's going on. I have to do the map several times, usually, uh, just to understand what the game is looking for me to do. This is the first time I did this map, so I actually got pretty lucky. I got really worried around wave 9, because the next wave of bad guys was wave 10, and it was not a tiki god. <laughs> not the big ass, giant, stupid looking golden tiki god. So I got worried, and then I realized when that pops up, it said wave 10 of 20, and that I uh, am stupid. But no fear, once we get to wave 20, we will fight another Tiki God. It's just wave 20 instead of 10. And just in 20 waves, this is already nearly a 20 minute episode. So, I can't wait until I get into the hard levels where it's presumably you know 30 I mean the one medium map I did try was was I believe 20 waves so I'm gonna have to assume that the hard levels uh, one two three four however many there are I'm gonna have to assume that those are also up to 30 waves maybe 25 I don't know but I could be wrong or I don't know how many special levels there are uh, I think there are at least three on Tiki Island. I don't know if those are also multiples. Like the easy maps are 10. And the special, this map, special map number one was 20. So I don't know if the medium is all 20s and a 30 special. And all the hards a 30 and a 40 special. I couldn't tell you. But let me know what you guys think about showing you the whole thing. Because if they, if there are 40 level maps... 40 wave maps eventually like way down the road I mean shit that's gonna be 30 35 40 minute episode let me know if you guys want to see everything on that so I'm totally okay entertaining you guys as much as I possibly can but uh especially for a tower defense game I can understand how it would uh you know lose its flavor <laughs> once you're super deep into the game and it looks like there are no new bad guys. Next episode, I will show you uh, Gotti Gotti Island, uh, easy one. And I think there is one new type of bad guy. Uh, it's like a like a crab or lobster or something. I can't remember. Some form of crustacean. Crustacean? Some some form of crustacean. Um, but so far, yeah, on the regular Tiki Island, it's pretty much the same guys over and over. Uh, maybe in the medium maps they will be different. I hope so. Because there are three towers that I never use. Uh, 
but I hope that there is a reason to use them sometime later at least. So as you can see, uh, Golden Tiki God Guy is on our bottom left, so he is coming up uh, very shortly. Uh, so now I realize, oh, these arrows do absolutely dick to the giant guy, so I need to hurry up and make some cannons whenever he starts to come out. And that's exactly what I do. Now I only put the arrows there because I knew it was going to be all spiders. Uh, once I saw the first wave and then the second wave, oh no, and the second wave was all spiders. Uh, pretty much, you know, put two and two together. The game's not lying to me. It's all spiders. But now, it's time to get ready for the big dog. For the big dog. Ooh, we just gotta find out what side he is coming from. And I want to pick up as many dinosaur eggs as possible so that I can very quickly upgrade a regular cannon tower to like a, a level black or whatever what have you so now we're just waiting for him to pop up so that I know where he's coming from get those dinosaur eggs you idiot there's two sitting there no I walked right by the dinosaur egg oh well so as you can see, our uh, awesome green and yellow towers, uh, archer towers, have done almost nothing to the Tiki God. There's a very tiny little sliver of his health gone. So we need some cannon towers, uh, quick like. Luckily, they are a level, uh, or I guess you know, a beginner tower, a level one tower, whatever you want to call them. So they uh, they pop up pretty quick. And here I'm going. Uh, hedge in my bets that the guy will probably get through But by the time he gets over to where I'm standing currently, he'll probably be mostly dead. So That's gonna be my last kind of backup guy Did I just get rid of a cannon tower to put a cannon tower? Oh, I think I tried to upgrade it. That's what it was and it was already stuck on the cell option that's what I don't like. Whatever option you picked last is the first one you see the next time. So sometimes I sell some things and then I uh, don't think about it and I start trying to like upgrade and I immediately sell all my towers. <laughs> it sucks. Ooh. Yanked my headphone right out of my dome. That hurt like a mother. Okay, so he's pretty much dead. Um, cannon towers just put his ass to work. Even these black archer towers are doing almost no offense. There we go. Waste those dinosaur eggs. Let's get some upgrades. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. This is our special one. Uh, follow me on the Twitters at DeadHandLP for all the quickest news on me, DeadHand, and my Let's Plays. Uh, subscribe, like, and comment. I do tower defense and roguelikes. Mostly, mostly roguelikes and tower defense. And I got a speed potion. Look at that, now I can run faster. So, I hope you guys enjoyed that. Uh, let me know about the long levels if you guys want to uh, see the whole thing or not. That was special one from all sides. Next time we will go to Gotti Gotti Island. Uh, and we'll try to get enough rainbows to get through these other levels. So, you guys have a wonderful night. Again, I am Deadhand. You guys have fun, and peace out.